Hello everyone, I'm Ross and in today's episode we're going to discuss what is Gong.io, what are the main advantages and disadvantages and what are four other tools that can replace Gong. When it comes to me, I've been doing sales and recruitment for the last six years. I know this industry quite well. I've tried Gong, I've tried other tools so I can share with you my experience. So let's start. First of all, let's start with Gong. Gong is an amazing product with lots of features. It just with features it's enterprise focused so you can't even like find the pricing on the website because they want you to have a demo call with their team for me it's like when i see this i know this tool is gonna cost a lot of money and i will tell you from my experience the starting cost with gong would be around six thousand eight thousand dollars plus of course you can negotiate but that's how it starts why because even if you buy like one two three seats there is the setup fee or installation fee that they charge you like upfront 5k sometimes less sometimes more and then for each seat you would pay around 150 dollars to 200 dollars per seat per month annual deal you cannot pay it per month so you need to immediately pay lots of money from your pocket for that you get uh, one of the best platform to analyze your meeting and give you suggestions on where you can improve. What is your talk time? If you ask questions or not, it would compare how well you're doing calls uh, compared to your colleagues or to other people in the similar industry. And this is really nice in particular for sales managers because you as a sales manager can look your sales reps and see where they're doing well or not. And I talk with multiple sales executives who know Gong and tried it before. What they, all of them are saying is that Gong is amazing when you have a clear sales motion inside the company, when you understand what works and what doesn't work. Then Gong is just like enhancing you. But if you your sales team is still quite messy, you still guys figuring out what to do. Gong is just going to be another data point that you won't know what to do with that exactly. The only advantage there would be that you are able to record the meetings, transcribe them, and uh, maybe see the talk time. But you don't need to pay 8,000 per year to get this data. There are tools that are much cheaper. The main things that like, even if you Google it's recording called transcript, AI, like uh, dashboard, forecasting, collaboration tool, assessment, uh, all of that kind of stuff, like conversation intelligence, all of that is very cool. But as I said, it only works when you have a good sales process inside your company. Otherwise, you're going to use these two main features, recording and cold transcript. So let's go to another tool called Chorus. Zoom in for both Chorus, so, but still the same product. Chorus is very similar. They target the same uh, customer profile, the same pricing, they're around starting like $8,000. In order to see the price and see the product, you need to schedule a demo with the sales rep. And uh, the features are quite similar. You can see the talk time, uh, if you ask questions or not, they, they can give you feedback with AI, the good like forecasting. It's very similar to uh, Gong product, even if you like go to comparison on G2 Crowd, you can see that Gong and Chorus are quite similar. Maybe Gong has more reviews, but Overall, it's absolutely similar products. There are three alternatives. It's Otter, it's Grain, and it's Blue Dot. Let's start with uh, Grain. It's grain.com, and here I'm already logged in. It's a very simple product. The thing is that this product started as the customer research type of tool for product managers. This is how they started like five years ago. Then I, they realized that there's guess more money in sales and they just moved into the sales direction. And here you can see that if I can click on meetings here, I don't have recordings here, but if I go to this, for example, one as an example, here we have the transcript on the right side. You can search across the transcript. Here you have the notes, uh, which are generated with AI. There are different types of meeting notes, different type of templates that you can create. There are insights. In order to see insights, you need to upgrade, but I can tell you insights are mostly what's talk time, if you ask questions or not, if you listen to the prospect and so on. We click on the timeline. Here we can see who is talking and who is talking more or less. It's similar to Gong, right? So here we can leave comments, highlights. Quite nice. You can share this video and leave tags. Uh, this is this is basically it. That's the main part. Like there is in stories. I don't know who is using stories. Doesn't make sense for me. Insights. Insights are basically you can see how your team performs compared to each other. You need to upgrade. And now let's take a look at the upgrade. Monthly plan is nine. Starts with nineteen. And here we have unlimited meetings. But for example, you don't know AI coaching and some integration. So if you want integrations and other stuff, please pay thirty nine dollars per month. Now let's go. And now let's take a look at Blue Dot. 
Blue Dot, the first AI meeting recorder that records a meeting without the bots joining the meetings. So it's basically super native experience. What you get is the transcription, is the AI summary. So let me show you how it works with Google Meet. So here's the Google Meet, here's the extension, Blue Dot extension that you need to install. Once you click, it offers you to notify people that you want to record or not. And please read the laws if you can record without notifying. Half of the states in the US allow, half not. Please search one party consent state and then read the rules. We have it on our website as well. Uh, then select if it's a video or audio that you want to record, what language, and start the recording. That's it. No bots. Super native experience. You discuss something, you want to stop, you click stop, save, boom. You got the recording, you can immediately share it. You don't need to wait for anything. There are no bots. You have full control of what is being recorded. Here on the right side, you get the transcript and you can leave comments. You have AI summary of the meeting and you can immediately share it with the link. Let's go to one of the meetings that we have with our team. So for example, here, this is the weekly alignment uh, that we have with our team. As you can see, Blue Dot identifies the speakers. You can search across the transcript, quite similar interface to Grain, I would say on this side. So you can search, you can go here to the AI summary. There are different type of nodes that you can create or use our general node. And here you have the action items and the overview of the meeting. Quite good functionality. Uh, consider that all of that would cost you uh, from 18 to $25 per month. And it can record your meeting without the bot joining the call. Another tool is Otter. Otter is a famous across journalists, and this is how they started. Lots of people who are doing like entry, real life interviews, they use Otter. In order to start using Otter, you basically need to connect your uh, Google or Microsoft. Then they, there would be a bot that would join your meetings and record them, similar to Grain. So, and all the other tools before, like uh, Gong, Chorus, Otter, Grain, and 99%, they're all using bots that record your meetings. Let me show you how it works and then we'll continue about uh, water. So in order to record the meeting, let's imagine we start Google Meet. You can copy the link to the meeting. You go to Grain, you enter meeting link, click record, and now you need to wait for the bot to join the meeting. You can either do it this way or you can select which meetings you want to record beforehand and then the bot will join automatically. Again, similar to other tools. The problem is that bots sometimes, these bots, they join before you even join and they stay after you left. Here we have Grain Recorder trying to join. I click Admit. Now you have this bot and it's gonna stay here and record and transcribe. Some people like it, some people hate it. I personally don't like this type of bots joining the calls. Let's just stop the meeting. and Now we need to wait for this to finish and I go to meetings here I have the recording I need to wait for the bot to record it and upload and now I have it nice now I can share it if we go here to water quite similar you can paste the link it will join the meeting you can record from your computer if we go to whatever recording there is you can see the interface very important part water doesn't record the video it's only audio and transcript there is you can leave comments there is ai summary very nice but no video you can see what was shared and nice thing is that there's this auto chat the new feature that they added so basically you can chat with your video you can chat with your recording you can ask questions and water will find answers in the transcript of your recording what is cool water has lots of integrations with different platforms and their pricing if we go to the author basically ten dollars per month if you pay annually it's $17 per month, but very important, but water is so unstable. Like if you go to Twitter or LinkedIn and search for keyword water, you will see so many complaints. People, people really hate water and writing that they want to unsubscribe, but they cannot that they cannot record something, that something doesn't work, like what a really unstable product. They've been on the market for a long time, but because they've been changing the product so much, it just, uh, it's just unstable. Like you can record something and then at the end there is no recording or no audio or no transcript. And it's super annoying when you pay like $70 per month. That's it. I hope this video was useful for you. Let me know if you have any questions and have a good day. Bye.